Hello, Taurus. Thank you for visiting uh, Stella K. And I hope you guys really enjoy your reading today. Um, this is my first Taurus reading on YouTube. I've done them on, um, you know, Facebook. I've done readings for my friends. I've been practicing for over 20 years. But this is my first time, like, starting a channel on YouTube. I've been inspired by a lot of the readers on here. So I just want to say thank you to all the amazing readers on YouTube. And maybe my reading won't resonate with everyone, but there are so many amazing readers on here that inspired me to start my own channel and not be ashamed of my gift. And I just want to thank them all. And I also want to thank all the women that do the beauty hack and tutorials about makeup and hair. Because I flip houses during the day, so I'm normally in a baseball cap and a flannel. Although my steel toe boots do have a little heel on them. But it's more to help me reach stuff. Because I'm five foot tall and I'm a little small. So, okay. When I was doing my pre-shuffle for Taurus for the end of June reading, I kept hearing that uh, Lizzie song. It's like, um... Don't men gotta be great till they gotta be great or something like that. It's like hurt something. I don't know. Look up or Lizio, that's the name of that's the name of her name. I, I don't know the name of the song. I I'm used to be a musician and my nieces send me this awesome music. So but right now we're just gonna get right into it because it's like twelve thirty at night and I gotta be up early. But I'm doing this for you anyways. So right now we are going to start with my Secrets of Tarot deck. Because this was one of the first decks I got. And I love it. So we're just going to do like a really simple seven card spread. And this is all about love. Because I love love. Like love is my thing. Like I love love. I fall in love maybe a little bit too much. Like, I love love, but who doesn't these nowadays? I mean, come on. It's, you know, we're a pretty progressive generation. You know, we love love. So, we're just going to do like a little seven card spread, and it's going to be about you or your partner. Just remember that this isn't going to resonate with everyone. Also, everyone has feminine and masculine energy. So, if, it, I, if pull like a king or queen, it doesn't mean like that's like a woman or a man, like we all embody both feminine and masculine, um, you know, it, things and in, in our system, like we're both feminine and masculine at the same time. I mean, I've met men that are way more, you know, feminine than I am. And I know I'm more masculine. I mean, you know, I can put a sink in and put drywall up and kick out carpet. <laughs> That's what I do during the day, <laughs> you know. And uh, time is fluid, you know. So this is going to be for Taurus, you know, soon moon or sun. Ugh. I always say this wrong. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, you know. And maybe some of it resonates, some of it doesn't. Whatever resonates, you know, keep it. Whatever doesn't, you know, throw it out in the trash. But hopefully a little bit of it will resonate with you. All right. So right now I'm going to cut the cards. And hopefully we will have an amazing end of June reading, love reading for my Tauruses. Because I love my Tauruses. Because you guys are like patient and kind and you're also very organized and you guys always have it together. But at the same time, you know how to have a little bit of fun at the end of the day. Okay, so we're going to go with your recent past, the present. What's helping? Obstacles. Attitudes of others, which I added myself because I think attitudes of others, like, matter so much in other people's lives because we care way too much about what people think and we need to cut that out. You listen to your heart and you listen to your gut and that's where you're going to find your answers. Okay, where are we? Uh, sixth position. What should you do? And then your outcome. Now we'll look at the bottom of the deck. And it is the Knight of Cups. So somebody wants to give you a big old cup of love. You know, somebody's coming at you or you're going at someone else and they want to give you a cup of love. Because my cups are love. 
And when a knight comes in, he can be riding a horse. And he's not going to spill one little drop of that cup of love because he wants to give it all to you. He wants that cup of love all going to you. Or you want it all going to them. All right, so let's see. What was your recent past? You got the Page of Pentacles. Pages are usually a little bit immature. Maybe a newer relationship. Um, when you're looking at the Page of Pentacles, you're looking at like, you know, maybe like fast, you know, simple text messages. Like things, when I think pages, I think like messages. So like maybe you're just starting like a new immature relationship. And hopefully the person you're with isn't immature. I can't see a Taurus doing that. And I can't see a Taurus being immature unless they're like 12. But anyways, like you guys are just like, you know, passing stuff back and forth. So that's in, you know, your recent past. Let's go to your present. Present, we got death. Um, so, you know, maybe either, you know, you broke up with someone or you're going through a huge transformation right now. Death does not have to always mean death. I mean, sometimes it can, but most of the time in tarot, it's going to mean like a breakup or a transformation. Like you are transforming into something else and there's, or remember that energies can be interchangeable. So I could be picking up on your energy or your person of interest energy, because this is a love reading. Remember that. So, you know, huge transfer. We'll clarify this. We'll, we'll, we'll clarify this one to see what it is. All right, so we're going to go into what is helping. What's helping is the Empress. Now, the Empress is, you know, she's related to Venus, which is like, you know, the planet love. But the Empress has, like, she's feminine. She's nurturing. She's abundant. She's kind of everything a woman should be. She has like all these different facets to her. And she's just, you know, just chilling there. She's like got her little mirror and she's got a little crown on with all her little diamonds. And she's chilling and just loving life because she's got everything she needs. All right, fourth position, obstacles. Your obstacles is the fool, which is usually like taking like a blind leap of faith. Like, sometimes in life we need to take a leap of faith. So maybe you or your person of interest is scared to take that leap of faith. But who ever got anywhere without, you know, blind faith and just like taking that chance and taking that leap, that leap of faith? I'm going to mess up on my words. Super nervous. This is my first 12 videos. I promise if you push the subscribe button and you like my video, I will get so much better over the weeks. I am not giving up on you. I'm going to be here for a long time. I am a Capricorn, so I go, go, go. And uh, it's pretty late at night. But anyways, but with that leap of faith, like, somebody needs to take it. All right. So attitudes to others is the Page of Swords. So again, we got a little bit of... Uh, Maybe some nasty communication going on. When I think of the Page of Swords, it's either people spying. Like, you could be spying on your person, or they could be spying on you, like, on your social media. Or, like, actually following you around, which is not likely nowadays with social media, because all we gotta do is look at people's social media page and what they're doing. But, I mean... This is just what I see when I see the Page of Swords. But it is like, I'm seeing like a newer relationship because I'm seeing all these pages. So you guys are definitely checking each other out online, seeing what each other's doing. Um, and other people are too, because you obviously, like I don't know a Taurus that doesn't have at least like 500 friends. Like you guys are always popular and fun and great. So yeah, you Somebody is checking in on somebody. And uh, your friends are also checking in on what it is, too. All right, so the what you should do is the moon. Now, the moon's all about emotions and about our subconscious. So if you're feeling a little bit emotional or standoffish about this relationship, or this could also be your person of interest, remember, because energies can mix. But I'm thinking this is you. You're getting in your emotions about this. And um, I really think what you should do is sit down 
and write a pros and cons list like a Taurus would because you know us earth signs. I'm an earth sign too. We can be very organized and really try to pull out of you like what are what is it that you're thinking about when it comes to this person? Do you see a future? And that's what I always tell myself when I go into dating or uh, start a relationship is do I see a future with this person? So that's kind of what you got to look at. And your outcome is the King of Swords, which is like completely honest. Like the King of Swords, he can be abrasive. He can be demanding. He demands respect at all times. I mean, the King of Swords, like he, you know, he's going to lay it down and he's going to have it his way or the highway. This can be a Gemini, um, Libra, or Aquarius that you're dating, um, which can be a little bit difficult because it is like they're, you know, your way or the highway. I mean, it can be like that with Tauruses too, so you may bump heads. But if there are really good qualities between you two, maybe that is a good quality between you two. And for the people that this is going to resonate with, that will actually make sense to you. All right. So what we're going to do now is, what deck do I want to use? I'm not using sexual decks yet. I will be doing sexual readings in the month of July, but I don't want to start off that way. So I'm going to use the Hanson Roberts jet deck for clarification. This is another one of my older decks that I'm just really used to, and I love clarifying. So we're going to clarify death and your present to find out what kind of transformation you or your person of interest is going through. And I really do feel like this is a newer relationship. Like, there's a lot of pages, but you guys seem like you are kind of both, like, power players. Like, we got the Empress, we got the King of Swords. I mean, you guys are, you know, you both got your stuff together. So, when you don't need a person, it's hard to choose a person because you think, like, so much more of yourself but just remember, like, don't care about the amount of money they make. Don't care about the car they drive. Care about how you feel when you're with them. That's what Spirit just told me to say. Like, think about how you feel when you are sitting in a room with this person and you're not thinking about their material items. Like, that's what, that's what I'm getting off this read. And it is, and you know, what I'm feeling is it's new. It could... It could be a, you know, you guys are just getting back together and it's a, re you know, you're reconciling, reconciling, sorry. It's late. I'm tired. All right. Let me cut these and let's do a couple clarifications and be on our way to figure out what's going on with y'all Tauruses. Okay. So the page of Pentacles, that's your past. We don't need to clarify that. All right. Death. Let's see. What we have here is the Empress again. So the Empress, and remember, the Empress can be a man or a woman. We all embody feminine and masculine energies. Like, um, you could be going through a transformation right now where you are, you know, coming, you're like, you're a queen or a king, and now you're becoming an emperor or an Empress. And you are like, a little on your high horse maybe you need to get down a little bit and transform into something that has a little I, like I hope I see temperance in this reading I don't know if I will but I hope I will but just remember that people aren't their things they are themselves and a person can make you extremely happy without a brand new car and a million dollars in the bank all right let's let's uh Pull one more clarifier for that one. All right. Feels good. Okay, so we got the four swords. So obviously death was right. I mean, transformation. You need a little bit of time to transform. The, the four swords just means a break. Like, you, you took a little bit of time in the beginning of this relationship or your person of interest did to, you know, figure out, is this the person for me? Are they good enough for me? Are they the right person for me? Are they a good fit for me? Like, someone just needed time to think it out. 
All right, the Empress, I don't think we need to talk about her anymore. I mean, we already talked about her a whole lot. Then it comes to um, the obstacle, which is the, uh, you know, fool, which is, you know, taking a leap of faith. So let's see, you know, why you're not taking a leap of faith. And I understand you're a Taurus. You don't take leaps. Like, you write lists. Like, you figure it out. Like, you guys are, like, the kings of the universe sometimes. Like, you guys got it together. And you're also fun at party time. I've never met a Taurus I don't like. And you're also very good-looking people. Like, I've never met a Taurus that's not good-looking. All right, that feels good. Okay, so we have the Emperor. Okay, so now we have two Empresses and the Emperor. And I, I'll actually pull the one out that matches us. So you guys are kind of like a true couple. Like, so maybe liking someone so much and being scared of being hurt is why you didn't take that leap of faith and why it's an obstacle for you. Because you're scared if you do, that maybe you may get your heart broken. That isn't anywhere in this reading yet. And just remember, I don't resonate with every, any, everyone, but we have a really clear pair right here. That means power couple. I mean, there are no higher couples in the tarot deck than the Empress and the Emperor. And I'm going to leave it at that. Not even messing with it anymore. Okay, so in your fifth position, we have the Attitude of Others, which is the Page of Swords. Which, uh, you know, that can be a little bit of spying. I don't really feel the need to clarify that because, I mean, it's either like a little bit of communication that's a little bit blunt or spying. I mean, it's really nothing to clarify. The moon, we will do that. What should you do? Let's clarify your emotions and why your subconscious is giving you a problem about this relationship. You know, the moon is your subconscious. It's sometimes things that you don't even realize you feel. And that's why you watch people like me for guidance. And like I said, I'm not going to resonate with everyone. But I have a good feeling the people that are going to watch me, because there's only going to be a few, because these are my first couple videos. But hopefully it does. All right, that feels good to me. All right, and we got the King of Pentacles right here. King of Pentacles is kind of right under the Emperor. Like, maybe you feel like the King of Pentacles, even though you're extremely stable. You probably own your own business or have a really good job, and you have your money together. You have your stuff together. You know exactly what you want. All right, let's pull another card, though. Let's see if we can pull some emotions out of you, Taurus says. It can be hard to do sometimes. To pull, like, those real emotions out of you guys. And I know, because I'm an earth sign. No one can pull anything out of me. Unless I give it. Like, but if you ask, like, mm -mm, I'm going to give you some reasonable answer. Unless I just offer it all on my own. <laughs> Us earth signs. Gosh. We're so friggin' stubborn sometimes. Okay, we got the queen of rods. All right, that can mean the Queen of Wands, or a Wands. Ah, so that's a very sexual, vibratious woman. She, uh, she radiates sexuality and beauty and just so many things that are feminine. So maybe that can be what's in your emotions, is that things... When you look at this person, you see so much beauty. You don't want to get hurt. Like I said before in the, um, what was this one? In the death card. And we clarified it. Like, you don't want to get hurt. Because this person, you are very attracted to them. Like, you have a strong att attraction to this person. Absolutely. Definitely. And then your outcome uh, is the King of Swords. Sorry, messing up my words. It's like one in the morning. 
because I bought a new computer and I'm totally tech retarded and I'm learning how to use it and it's taking forever to download and then like I'm telling you right now when you watch YouTube you always push the like and subscribe button because one video takes us hours to do even the most like sophisticated smartest youtubers like we put a lot of work into this i mean i redo stuff for a living and i like i actually finished a basement and put all this stuff up <laughs> just so i could do this for you guys so push that subscribe and like button like come on give a girl a try and give me a couple weeks you know, we get to know each other, you get to know me, I get to know you, and then we get to know each other, and then we resonate, you know, and remember to meditate a little bit in the morning. I, I know with earth signs, like, we can be so stubborn, and we're so stuck on our tasks, like, we forget to relax. We can have a good time, like, no one parties like an earth sign, like, when we go out, but when we are in work mode, which is probably 99% of our lives, like... We need to take that 10 minutes in the morning and the 10 minutes at night and just meditate, chant, hum, do whatever you have to do to, to clear that mind. Just a little advice from me and from spirit, which is the little voice in my head that people think I'm crazy for. All right. So the King of Swords. Who's the King of Swords? The King of Swords can be, you know, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But let's just uh, clarify it a little bit. That's your outcome. That feels good to me. All right, you got the sun, which is the best card in the deck. So, like, this king or, you know, a king, remember, can be a woman, too. Like, you guys are going to end up super happy together. It may be a little slow going. And you both may be a little stubborn. But you know what? If you guys just really open your hearts to each other. Like you are going to end up having the sun. Which is ultimate happiness. Ultimate abundance. Love. Connection. Sexual connection. Which is. Uh, you're just. You're going to be happy. Okay. Just make sure you are always yourself. And like I tell everyone, I never redo a video because I want to be a completely authentic person. And I don't think you should ever not be yourself. I'm going to shuffle the oracle cards while I talk about this so the video is not too long. Because my videos have been going way too long. Um, I think if both of you are just yourself, all the time, you're going to have an amazing relationship. This is probably the best reading I've done in like two to three months. And I've been doing a lot of readings. This is only like my sixth one on YouTube, but trust me, I do a lot of other readings. But this is amazing. And just be your authentic selves. I've seen nothing in here that's like deceitful or horrible. Like, it's just like you guys just elevate the more you're together. Like, and you elevate each other. And you support each other. And as long as you do that as a couple, you, you can have an amazing life together. Just remember, supporting each other, forgiving each other when you're mad because we are, all get pissed at our significant others. I hate that word. I don't know why I just use that. But, all right. Cut in the deck. I'm going to pull an oracle card, and then hopefully I will see you guys for the monthly July reading and your July reading, your sexual July reading. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got Envy. I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. And even though you might not see it, I totally see how this fits in to this reading. Because there might be a lot of people that are going to envy you for your relationship. And because you guys are an empress and an emperor. And, but you are just like everyone else. Don't think you're above everyone. Be yourself. Love yourself. But also love anyone that's in any condition, no matter financial, looks-wise, anything. I mean... 
treat everyone as your equal or give them help if you think they need it, if they have an actual problem. But just remember, like, I think you met your match here. You really did. People will envy you, but be proud of that and do not flaunt it. And that's what I get from this card. Because I envy this reading. And this is what I want. Holy moly. Mm, good stuff. All right. Well, I'm Stella K. Please hit the subscribe button and like my video. Uh, I gave you guys the most amazing reading I've done in forever. I can't remember the last time it was just like this clean and good. Um, also, you can visit me at StellaK.com and check out other things I do. I do energy work and Reiki healings. Um, you can also, if you'd like a private reading with me, that's StellaKTarot at Yahoo.com. You can reach me there too. All the information is below along with the decks that I use. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and the beautiful end of June. And I love you. I love blowing kisses. Have a great night.